Okay, so problem seven is about electromagnetic radiation and electromagnetic radiation occurs at these different wavelengths, right? And so we have uh, the visible spectrum sort of roughly in the middle and that's where you get your nice little rainbow. Okay, and then we have the stuff we can't see. So at this lower side, we get like the radio waves. And then we have these more energetic waves with the shorter wavelengths, right? And so these ones, these are going to be our UV rays, our X-rays. And it's these high energy, the high energy of these ones is what allows them to actually penetrate tissues and damaged cells, right? So it sort of is... Uh, why an x-ray technician will go hide in a room while they take the x-rays because being exposed to these high energy waves over and over and over again will cause ultimately uh, some damaged tissue. Okay, so now that we know that, we can sort of look at our list and see which one of these options is a high energy wave. And we see that uh, choice D, ultraviolet or UV rays, is a high energy uh, light source. And so the letter choice we want then is going to be D for the ultraviolet or UV rays.